Hello and welcome back, viewer. Randy freaking Weingarten. She's the American Federation of Teachers Union president, and her problem started when she denied that she was responsible for keeping schools closed during recent oversight hearings over the impact of school closures. Uh, I'm sorry, Congressman Raskin. I'm just, we spent every day from February on trying to get schools open. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that remote education was not a substitute for opening schools, but we also knew that people had to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's because I live in New York City. I live near a hospital. Every other minute there was a ambulance. I'm sorry. Did you just say that you kept schools closed because you live near a hospital and there were lots of ambulances coming and going? Because that's kind of what happens at hospitals. Unfortunately for Weingarten, the usual measures that would have been in place to protect her lies on Twitter are no longer there. And when she posted a series of clips where she says she wants to reopen schools, she was quickly shut down by Twitter community notes. These notes showed her union page heavily promoting school closures and keeping them closed all the way up to 2022. And that areas with high union influence remain closed much longer. <laughs> Other users pointed out some of her past Twitter posts celebrating her victories to keep schools closed despite attempts to reopen them. Remember in 2021, when most all schools had been reopened, except for the ones that she had control over. Has really thrown this curveball that says that while vaccination is the number one gold standard, um, that we need to you know, bring back our masks for schools. So the bottom line is we're going to keep kids safe. We're going to keep our members safe and we're going to try to open up schools. Oh yeah, you seem really excited to reopen schools. Even worse for Weingarten, the doctor behind the study that she was using to keep schools closed blasted her, saying, quote, Today in her congressional testimony, Randy Weingarten mentioned our Wisconsin study multiple times as evidence schools needed, quote, layered mitigation to reopen. She also mentioned me in her written testimony. This statement and her interpretation of our study are incorrect. <laughs> I was the senior author of this Wisconsin study, and as we said in our paper, because we had no control group, quote, it was not possible to determine the specific roles that mask wearing and other disease mitigation strategies played in the low rate of disease spread. <laughs> Seems like Randy Weingarten might have left that part out. This is a pretty big takedown by the doctor, so I'm going to leave a link to the entire thread in the description. But she wasn't done digging her hole and appeared on CNN in an attempt to rewrite history. Probably Probably thinking that she was safe there, but one of the guests was not having any of it. Uh, um, we don't know each other, but speaking on behalf of millions of American parents, I have four at home. I had to teach them at home. My wife had to teach them at home. I am stunned at what you have said this week about your claiming to have wanted to reopen schools. I think most you'll find that most parents believe you were the tip of the spear of school closure. <laughs> There are numerous statements you made over the summer of 20, scaring people to death about the possibility of opening schools. And I hear no remorse whatsoever about the generational damage that's been done to these guys. I have two kids with learning differences. Do you know how hard it is for them to learn at home and not in a classroom that was designed for them? And for you to sit in front of Congress and the American people and say, oh, I, I wanted to open them the whole time. <laughs> I, I am shocked. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. And there are millions of parents who feel the exact same way. Ha! Stop! He's already dead. Brutal. I'm not sure why the state media apparatus has decided not to protect her anymore, but she seems to be toast. If I were a certain someone, I'd be sweating a bit right now. All right, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching. If you found it informative, please hit that like button, share it, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.